Hi, Aman Gulia here from Harcourts bringing you yet another property market update. April brought a positive change as sales rebounded. In fact, I had 7 properties go unconditional last week. The media's positive coverage is generating more serious buyer interest. However, buyers are still looking for realistic prices that reflect the current market, not the market 3-6 to six months ago. First home buyers active, investors still standing back, vendors becoming more realistic on prices. Buyers who postponed purchases last year are entering the market now. Interest in new bills currently low, but likely to increase after media report on market bottom. Easing of LVR rules indicate turning point in house price cycle. Migration boom, very positive for the property market. Overall, these points suggest that we are either or at very close to the bottom of the market. Hi, Bianca here from Leyden and welcome to the marketing update. Two days ago, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand announced an ease in LVR restrictions due to be implemented the 1st of June this year. This will entail a minimum LVR for investment properties to move from 60% LVR to 65 They are also now easing the thresholds for banks to allow their books to now hold 15% of their housing debt over 80%. This was previously only 10%, which means you will see more loans getting approved to support the first home buyer market without holding that full 20% deposit. The rate seems to remain steady across all banks, with the average floating rate sitting around 8.2 to 8.4 off the back of the OCR announcements recently. You will notice in the market the one-year rate fix remains roughly 10 basis points higher than the two- and three-year rate, which indicates we will see an ease in the rates from mid to end of next year. Give us a call if you want to find out more about the competitive rate currently in the market. We have 6% currently being advertised for 12 months and offering a 1% cashback. Talk soon and see you next time. David Finlay here from Harcourt's JK Realty. Just giving you a bit of an update from the end of April. Well, the big thing on everyone's lips is when is the bottom of the market? It is the million, if not billion dollar question right now. There's been a few indicators that we might be getting close. The first time that we've had inflation drop, uh, drop down instead of staying up. So we're below 7% now. It's a really good indicator. We're interested to see what the interest rates are doing. Obviously, Bianca's already talked about a couple like banks fighting over those interest rates and those coming down. A bit of exciting time heading up. We had the market heat up for us in the last couple of weeks. We had 10 unconditionals yesterday alone. That was more than we did in the whole of January. So it's showing us that there's some, some ignited uh, energy in the market, which is what we've all been waiting for. One of the first things that always changes when you hit the bottom of the market is those off the plans. They come right back into the forefront. People wanna buy off the plans so they know they hit the bottom of the market and they get some capital gains. At the same time, when they buy, those interest rates will start to come down. So when they settle, they get the lower interest rate and the higher price. So that's really exciting. The only slight negative in the development space is that they've put a hold on the unitary plan update for 12 months. They've done that because of the flooding. It'll be really interesting to see what they do in the flood zone land. I think if you're a vendor trying to sell flood zone land at the moment, I think it's going to be really, really tough. If you're a developer, do you want to take that risk? So it's understanding the changes there, seeing if we can become a soak city like they're talking about where maybe that water soaks in through the driveways and other technologies around there. But interesting time, do you take the risk to wait to the bottom of the market? Because when the media tells you it's the bottom of the market, it's too late. So don't miss out, get in touch with us today. Thanks a lot for watching this property market update. I'll see you next time.